And this is just a cleaner way to keep the puppies clean, if you will. A cleaner way to kind of keep them out of poop. A cleaner way to keep them out of pee. Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Everyday Inc. Welcome to Only A's Bully Camp. If you new here, make sure you go ahead and damn on that subscribe button. And don't forget when you subscribe over here, you're not just a subscriber. Oh, you part of the family now. With that being said, if you're not a part of the squad, join the Ape Squad now. Also, make sure you go ahead and smack that notification bell. That way you know when your boy's about to drop some new heat. Because I do drop heat on a regular basis, so stay tuned in. Let's get it. Let's go. So today, y'all, I actually am trying out the pine wood bedding. I bought this from Walmart. Got it at a good price. I only paid 10 bucks for this giant bag, y'all. Um, I also brought me one of these long crates. And it's tall, you feel me? So the puppies don't be trying to jump out or nothing like that. And it just give them a little space to walk around, a little something, something just so they can do them, you know what I mean? And kind of stretch their legs and move around a little bit. Also, guys, um, this is going to stop me from having to keep on washing blankets back to back to back to back and getting them filled with poop and pee and puppies being wet and all that stuff. And this is just a cleaner way to keep the puppies clean, if you will. A cleaner way to kind of keep them out of poop. A cleaner way to keep them out of pee. Stop them from getting wet. Stop them from getting poop all over them. All the extra stuff, you know what I mean? So this is something that will be changed out once a day, guys. So we are gonna see how long this $10 bag of pine wood pet bedding will last your boy, you feel me? I don't think it'll take much to just spread some out um through the bottom so definitely gonna try to make it last you feel me but also not be skimpy with putting it in the bottom of it you know what i mean so i was really skeptical about using it at first just because i didn't know how um puppies would do with the wood shavings but i've been looking around and seeing it online and it looks like it'll be safe it looks like it'll be fine for them to lay in and of course i'm seeing on the bag like a a rooster a little chicken a rabbit and a hamster rat whatever that stuff is i could think of a rabbit and a hamster being the closest thing to a small puppy so i felt like this would be perfect for me um to make it happen so um I was like, let me go ahead and run with this pine wood bed and see if that can help me out. There was another option, and the other option I seen was like this um paper, if you will. I'm gonna have to show it to y'all next time I go to the store. Some kind of paper, soft paper bedding or whatever. And uh, I guess it was along the lines of being the same thing. But I felt comfortable trying this. This seemed like the better buy to me. And like I said, I did get this at Walmart in the pack section, y'all. It's a lot that you can get from Walmart. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a lot easier on your boy. And I feel like it's going to save me some cash. And I feel like the pup's going to mess with it too. You feel me? So I'm going to go ahead and rip this bag open. And... See if the puppies gonna cling to it. See if they like it. See if they can be just as comfortable um, in it as they are in the small bin or the whelping pool. You feel me? So let me go ahead and get some of the puppies over here. Alright, real quick, put it open. Trying to put a decent cut on this because remember your boy gonna be, you feel me, like using it back to back. So the first time you cut this bag open, you wanna make sure that you don't do no horrible cut to where it's just pouring out all, you know what I'm saying, everywhere every time you get to get ready to use it, you know what I mean? So Decent little 
show y'all. Cut the bed, just a little something, something, you know what I mean, at the top. Oh, I said, hopefully they cling to it. See what I got in here. I'm gonna put a little bit more in there, y'all. Just to kind of hit the spots I feel could use it. Still a good, you feel me, amount left. That wasn't nothing but a corner of the bag, y'all. $10 is the Wally Red, you feel me? <laughs> so hopefully the pups like it. They look anxious to get in there, so. We about to see y'all anxious. Y'all ready to try it out, hmm? Y'all ready to try them out? <laughs> Let me see. See what y'all gonna do. See if y'all gonna rock with it. I hope y'all rock with it because it's gonna be easier on y'all daddy. Let's see. Oh. What you think about that? Huh? What you think about that? What you think about that? Let's see. What y'all think about that? That's something different right there, huh? I guess my first worry was about them eating it or something weird like that. But I'm fighting with them to stick their tongue out and eat the dead gum mush. So I know good and well they not finna be trying to eat this darn, eat these wood chips. You feel me? So I feel like they good. I don't feel like this will hurt them at all. It's okay, baby. You can come here. You looking at the puppies? You see the stuff Daddy put them in? Yeah, like wood chips or wood shavings, if you will. It's not a hard. They not hard, y'all. It's not like a hard, hard wood chip. It's really, really soft. Um, really brittle. Yeah, real soft pine wood, y'all. Yeah, really soft. So, y'all, hopefully this goes well and it obviously moves around as they move. Stop, Zoe. Don't throw it on them. <laughs> it obviously moves around, y'all, as they move with it. I'm pretty sure they'll pee and poop everywhere. All in there. Okay, thank you, baby. Yeah, yeah. They, look, they ain't gonna eat them, baby. They just comfortable in there. Yeah, maybe they want to play. That's why Daddy got it, babe, so they can play and move around a little bit. I think, I think she wants to cover up like a tall man. Yeah. No, you can't cover them, babe. No, you cannot do that. Okay, go go help mommy. Okay. Y'all know how kids are. They excited around puppies. They love to be around. They love to see them. You feel me? So. Like I said, the pups enjoy it and she enjoy it. 
I'll show y'all, look like this gonna work. Look like it's gonna be convenient too, you feel me? And uh, definitely gonna be something for me to easily slide beside my bed and um, keep an eye on them. And obviously like a, a big dog, hey, keep a big dog warm. If you ever had an outside dog, you know, um, you generally put hay in your dog's dog house. So I'm guessing this is reacting like um, hay. You know what I mean? And it'll keep them warm too. So it's really a plus. It's a plus as far as cleaning up pee and poop the easy way. And it's also a plus as far as um I lost my train of thought, y'all. <laughs> it's a oh yeah, it's a plus of keeping pee and poop, you feel me, cleaned up easy, and it's a plus with keeping them warm, y'all. So Definitely had to tap y'all, tap in with y'all squad and show y'all what I had decided to do. This is just a hefty container. Um, got a simple little top to it. I only paid like, I think like 14 bucks, 15 bucks for the container. Got a decent little top to it and everything. And um, of course you got the the hefty clasp, the clasp, clasp um, tight after you get done using it. So in this case, I would definitely be putting all of my dog whelping stuff in there after I get done whelping this litter, you feel me? Definitely want to make sure I keep up with everything I bought for whelping this litter. It's crazy because I really cashed out, y'all, like to be able to whelp them the right way. I bought an oxygen machine that I'd never even touched, y'all. Haven't even used the oxygen machine, but thank God that I did not have to use it, you know? It's, it's kind of like, um buying a firearm if you will um it's something you want to have in case you need it but you're not looking to use it you feel me better safe um with it than without it so keep that on you <laughs> and um keep you everything you need for your your weapon supplies family y'all see the pups doing good pups getting fat um like I told y'all, of course I did take them off of Gamora um, and start doing the mush. It's just hard to feed them the mush. You really gotta train them to stop sucking and get them to lick so they can lick up the mush and lick up the milk and start to chew it. Um, so that's something I was working on. Meanwhile, Gamora titties got super big, super fat, full of milk. I couldn't let that milk go to waste y'all, so I did put them back on Gamora um, yesterday. No, today I put them back on Gamora or whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna alternate a little bit. I might do every two days, you know what I mean? Let them jump on Gamora. Um, probably for like the rest of this week and whatnot. And a little bit of next week. Just so they have mama nutrients and stuff and her milk or whatever. And then I just kind of gradually pull them off and make it a little bit easier on them. And it's definitely not easier on her. I'm telling you, Gamora is, I can tell she's starting to grow um, uncomfortable with them sucking on her and biting on her all the time. Like I said, they teeth are starting to come in, you feel me? So I know she can feel that she getting to where she don't want to stay still. Um, for them to suck on her no more. She'll lay there, you feel me? But they moving around so much and drink the milk so quick. And like I said, the milk does not do for them what it used to do for them, y'all. Like, and it's gone fast. Like, you know, Gamora can't produce enough milk fast enough to keep them happy long enough. You feel me? You catch my drift. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, long story short, they'll be eating mush and a little bit of mom milk as well but got this set up y'all it's gonna be extra beneficial for you if you're looking to keep your puppies clean um my puppies are three weeks old running towards this fourth week i wouldn't advise that you put them in this stuff before um the three week mark uh, if you got an incubator Definitely keep your puppies in the incubator until they hit that three weeks of age. Um, it's just, it's worth it if you got one. It really help out, you know what I mean? To keep them warm. I feel like, boom, at that third week, they're able to kind of 
of course we're staying the general air we're staying a decent temperature or we're staying the normal temperature that you keep your home i feel like they start to grow um comfortable with it they begin to adapt to it especially after coming out of the incubator and feeding on mom going in and out of it they kind of get an idea for um the temperature um in the house and you definitely want to keep them out of the incubator like maybe an hour or so sometimes just so they can kind of get used to what it's like outside of the incubator uh these guys have now been outside of the incubator for like three days you know what i mean and they they've been doing just fine uh using each other's body heat and um snuggling up under each other and, and snuggling up under the blanket y'all but this is a little game changer right here as far as keeping the pups clean as far as keeping them out of poop and pee look like we're gonna win with this uh pine wood pet bedding y'all so y'all know i love y'all family just had to tune y'all in and let y'all know what's going on, you feel me? Uh, show y'all that your boy is trying different stuff so y'all can see what's going on. Definitely want to share all of my experiences with y'all because they may be helpful, you feel me? Your boy be trying to save y'all from going all the way around the block, you feel me? And give y'all a little shortcut. If I can go through it and show y'all an easier way to do it, if y'all willing to take heed and listen to your boy, hopefully y'all did because we family, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm able to, I'm glad to help if I can help, you feel me? Uh, but it's all love, man. Y'all stay safe, and as always, send y'all love, peace, joy, kindness, and prosperity from this side of the camera to your side of the camera. And I will see you guys in the very next video, so stay tuned in. I got the mic, I got the mic, got the anxiety. I got the mic, I'm going eight, I'm going eight, I'm going eight. Yeah, I'm going eight. I'm going eight. I'm going eight. I'm going eight. Yeah, I'm going eight. Only ace bully count. Yeah, yeah. Only ace bully count. Yeah, yeah. Only ace bully count. Yeah, yeah.